You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. He is Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Brawler. This heavyweight is anything but standing only 5 foot 10 inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. And across the ring from him, Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. Oh my goodness, look at the reach. The Rock, Rocky Marciano, the Brockton brawler himself, one of the greatest fighters of all. The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Just take note, Todd. Check out the reach. Check it out. Well, we're all set. Let's go into the ring for the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Hiding out of the blue corner from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. Todd, I'm going to stay here till the end of the night because if you're a fight fan like me, this is what I live for. The fans are ready, and it looks like... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. <laughs> Men step back for just a moment. <laughs> These punches coming from every angle. <laughs> a lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the thousands of people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that not your big And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. And he scores with the counter. And he scores with the counter. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. will say no moss. <laughs> Only catching air with that hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. <laughs> At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. Marciano with one of the best right hands in boxing history. If he catches your flush, it's good night. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. When you're 
you're trained to fight a swarm or you've got to go get on your conditioning because they Rocks! Believe this! Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Now they've got a way to top. They've got to get on the back foot. Clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. One punch can change everything in this battle. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always there. It looks like he might not be as hurt as we thought. What course have been on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Oh, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think it come... They ring the bell and here we go. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. That was a good last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. <laughs> Scores with the counter. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. Rocky Marciano in trouble. Do you believe this? <coughs> Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. Three days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. <coughs> shots from both these fighters got to be careful though that hook was off target skill for skill tap for tap she's like a match made in heaven marciano fighting to survive he's never been knocked out didn't wait long to get back and get engaged defense 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 is everything because they've got shot once they know they can get caught again so for now just Work on defense, blocking and stopping and shooting. Most fury! Let's talk about fury in that last round. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. And there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. One minute. You need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to do it. When you're at such a reach disadvantage, you've got to find a way to work on the inside. You've done that before. Use your reach. Use your speed. Frustrate the opponent. Make them make a mistake.
Well, they're back up now, but they've got to be cautious. Cannot afford to trade back now, can they, Johnny? What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination. Maximum respect. Halfway through the round, and I think he knows he's got a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do, and you know what? It's hard to pull back. Don't get into the habit of losing. Don't get into the habit of being second place. You've got to change the habit. You've got to change something. Because otherwise, why should it change? Only catching there with that hook. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown. And there's the bell to start the round. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? Expanded back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Keep it up another three minutes. He's back on his feet, but for how long? This could go south in a hurry. He's got to waste time. Get him behind the referee. When he comes close, tie him up. The referee's then got to paw you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and come down again. That's a lot of points to lose in the round. Halfway through the round, and I think we all know he's winning here. No doubt at all. You can see who's winning. You can see who's going in hand. You can see who's comfortable. Or... Oh. A bit of a mouse trap. When you're fighting a massive heavyweight like this, you can't go toe to toe. You gotta stick and move and use anger. There's a lot of weight there to give away, and if you're giving it away that weight, you've got to use it for the maximum because you've got to be smart. Every shot hurts. It's not about skill. It's more about power. Hook misses. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Oh, and Tyson Fury just got... the corner handles their fighter here after being dropped twice in that last Marciano with one of the best right hands in boxing history if he catches you flush it's good night you've got to be feeling confident after what happened last round I have no idea what they have left what how how'd you come back from something like that not uh, twice how, where's your head at? where's your energy level at? it tells you you've got nothing left output. Thought there might be more action here. That hook was thrown with some bad intentions. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Arciano allowing his opponent to come to him. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges.
Couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. Tyson Fury just got buzzed. His eyes don't look good. Body language is bad. He could go down. Well, he's firing back now. Some very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance without... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? <laughs> My muscle is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won the down. <laughs> up on his feet and now he's ready to engage again the corner need to think nice and sharp they know that right. they know what their fight's capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take this is gonna be a tough decision to make are we about to witness history the great rocky marciano in serious trouble <laughs> And it appears they're out of trouble, at least for now. But that just goes to show you one clean punch changes everything. What the team is still saying? So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's the final 10 seconds here, and the corner better get warmed up. They've got some work to do. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Is there any way back into this fight after the beating he has taken so far? They ring the bell, and here we go. They barely survived the last round after two knockdowns. Let's see what happens here. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. Tyson Fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's going to get out of this. As he survived the storm, he's throwing punches again. So far, so far, he's been a tough, tough round. What did he do? What did he tell him when he goes back to the corner? He's like, How? Ladies and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. A knockout victory? That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again.